Hello, and welcome to the Good Weighing Practice series of videos. This video emphasizes the importance of weighing and the impact it can have on a business's product quality, regulatory compliance, and economic goals if it is not performed accurately. In this video, I would like to explain what a weighing tolerance is and how you can define it. All balances and scales made by Mettler Toledo are of the highest quality. However, which one is accurate enough for its intended weighing purpose? Imagine you want to paint a wall in your living room a certain shade of blue. To assure the color being made is the same one as you chose on the color chart, the paint manufacturer should have a weighing tolerance. How would you feel if the final color of your wall is different from the color you chose at the paint store? This graph shows how colors could look if weighing tolerances or measurements differ by 1%, 5%, If this happens, the paint producer will most certainly have their reputation tarnished and they will waste material because the pigments were not accurately weighed. This is an example of how balances and scales, when incorrectly purchased or used, can contribute to bad products and their associated costs. What if the error came in the shape of a pain relieving pill or the amount of strengthening material in a batch of concrete? The consequences could be much worse. To better explain a weighing tolerance, let's continue with the paint color example. Let's assume you want to weigh 100 grams. Could you accept a 1 gram weighing error, meaning that 99 grams to 101 grams is acceptable? If you can, this constitutes a weighing tolerance of 1%. With a 1% weighing tolerance and the material cost of this pigment, monetary losses could total $72,000 per year. With a 10% weighing tolerance, you are stating that you can accept a measurement between 90 grams and 110 grams. Using this tolerance, annual losses could total $720,000. In addition, when considering an appropriate weighing tolerance, these qualitative aspects should be considered. The greater the impact an inaccurate measurement could have on humans, the environment, or your business, the tighter your weighing tolerance should be. For pharmaceutical quality control, 0.1%. For average quality requirements, 1% is commonly used. For low cost material with low effectivity, 5%. Quite often, fragrance, food, and chemical manufacturing sites work with tight tolerances to assure our favorite perfumes, chocolates, and cleaning solutions are the same in every production batch. Check out this weighing tolerance guide for more information or contact us for further support to define a weighing tolerance that is right for your business. Based on proven scientific principles, Mettler Toledo can advise you on the right choice of a weighing device by providing a complimentary GWP recommendation report. We can also advise you if your installed balances and scales are fit for purpose with a unique service called GWP Verification. As a result, you can be sure that your weighing devices satisfy the quality requirements of your products and analyses. To learn more, check out further videos in our Good Weighing Practice video series.